This episode is brought to you by Alloy Works. It supplies your boy with a radiator, so we're going to unbox that baby, get it installed, and do a nice review on it. Let's get it. All right, here we go right here. We got this baby right here. We're going to do a nice side-by-side -side comparison. I got the old one right there, the stock radiator that came out of summer rain. Now, let's go ahead and get this baby unboxed. Y'all already know the carrier companies, they, they don't really care too much, but they be rough with your packages. She got two holes in the box, but I don't think the product has been touched. So let's go ahead and get it up out of there. Oh yeah, they got that baby packaged well. side by side comparison oh yeah everything look real good on this baby got some nice wheels on them I will be sharing a link to this. And anybody that use that link will get 8% off on their purchase. Oh yeah. Compared to the stock radiator, man, that is a major upgrade. This is the stock radiator that came in the 89 Caprice. And this right here is a replacement. Three row with the two fans and the shroud. Line them up side by side, see how they match up lengthwise. Looks like the aftermarket one is just a tad bit longer. Probably about an inch and a half or so. Really about like a good inch. So yeah, man, we're gonna get this baby installed. See if we can, I can find some fans, some relays for this fan. And we'll test the fans out. Yes, sir. Good quality, though. You can tell it's good quality. Nice and sturdy. All the wells look superb. Yes, sir. Okay, YouTube, I had to do some rigging up, but let's get it. Okay, so these fans come with an extra, I guess this would be the male piece to the female. And luckily, I had some wires laying around that had some connectors on it that'll fit perfect. That's why I'm telling you, y'all, do not get rid of nothing until you know that you 100% don't need it. 
But I got my Milwaukee battery right here. I got one of the connectors wired up and hooked up. Let's see how these fans, let's see if these fans blow. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a powerful fan. That's a powerful fan, no. It's official. Those are some powerful fans, man. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and get this baby installed in the car, and we'll take a look at it inside of the car. Let's get it. All right, so that's been a change of plans. We're gonna go ahead and install this baby in Ruby. See if I can get this bottom piece of the shroud off. I don't like the way it looks. Yeah, got that up out of there. Don't need it, don't like the way they look anyway. Bottom holes on. She got the transmission on. All right. Bottom transmission line in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got that top transmission line in, bottom holes in. Let's see, got that top holes on. All right, we got that baby installed. Let's see if we can fire this baby up. Yeah. 
But yeah, man, we got that baby installed on Ruby. Got Ruby up and running. This is an awesome radiator. Now, I'm not gonna hook up the fans on this setup until I do the LS swap, but I did wanna go ahead and get it installed. Got that baby running. Let's see. But once again, man, shout out to Alloy Works for sending your boy over the three-row radiator with the double fan shroud. It will be a link in the description. If anybody want to check them out, check out the website, man. They got radiators. They got parts for a lot of cars, man. So get them a check out, man. I truly appreciate them for sending me over this radiator. We do a review on, and I am satisfied. I'm happy with this baby. Yes, sir. There will be a link in the description. Alloy Works. Check them out. I ain't fired Ruby up in a minute. No leaks, none of that. As you see, everything matches up perfect. Transmission line, overflow tank, heater, core. Everything match up perfect. Yes, sir. She fit in there pretty good, too. Alloy works for the win, baby. Look at the old Ruby. Like, share, comment, subscribe, man. Y'all already know the routine. I'ma catch y'all on the next one, man. Um.